Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sunrider. I don't know. This is a free-to-play strategy visual novel thing. I, I, I don't know what to make of it, to be honest. I really, really don't. Uh, this is not listed under early access, at least not that I've seen under Steam. It is available on Steam, but it's listed as Beta 7.1A. So technically this is an early access game, but it's not listed as early access, which is a little weird. But it's also a free to play game. And it's a visual novel and a strategy game that involves anime chicks. Really, let's just call it right now. This is the perfect game, right? <laughs> I have not tried this. I've gone through the settings, like the settings menu, there's not a whole lot to be said here. You've got some volume sliders and whatnot. You've got combat mode, which you can set to all the way up, all the way down to visual novel mode, which is kind of cool. I'm going to just leave it on Ensign, I guess. I don't know if, I'm assuming it'll let me pick when I start. I have not tried this game. Like if I go to load, there is nothing there. So let's start this game and see what we've got. First arrival, I guess. Story takes place as we live today in a universe reminiscent by vastly different from our own, but vastly different from, I can read. Surprisingly enough, uh, my recording software is saying four frames a second is what this is running. Until it transitions, then it hops up to, you know, like 60. Humanity has spread to the four corners of the galaxy. Subjugating all life, we have become the dominant species throughout the stars. So it's nothing like this day and age. It's exactly like this world in this day and age, yet nothing like it. Yet, we are far from secure. So just like this day and age, war brews from the northern quadrant of the galaxy. What is the northern quadrant? <laughs> do we do we actually have like a north quadrant of the galaxy? Like, do we have north and south in, in, in the galaxy? Like, do we actually? I don't know. Pact, the People's Alliance, has toppled the once mighty new empire. So Darth Vader is, uh, I guess Darth Vader was gone before. I don't know, whatever. Led by a mysterious individual known only as Venkzar. I fuck it, I'm not pronouncing it. It's Arcadius, but whatever. Pact seeks to subjugate the galaxy under its new world order. So just like the empire. Distant from the brewing clouds of war, the neutral world of Sarah seems safe from the approaching packed war machines. It is on this quiet world where your journey begins. Hooray! Oh, good. Oh, it's not disappearing. Okay, I thought it was going to disappear pretty quick. Captain Kato shields... Oh, it is... <laughs> I waited too long to read it while waiting for it to disappear like a nub. <laughs> uh, shields leaned forward. Shields leaned forward in his... Shield. The dude's name is Shields. Really? Or I can't say it's a dude. I don't actually know, but... The person or thing's name is Shields. Shields leads former forward in... I guess it's a guy. Shields leans forward on his seat and spoke to his pilot. The pilot was obscured by his seat, and Shields could only hear his burly voice humming to the tiny, the tinny radio. Oh dear. How much further to, until we get there? Just a moment there. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to do like some radio static and that just sounds really stupid. Just a moment now. Can't wait until we meet your girl. Can you, sir? Nah. Haven't you seen Ava? Since we were in high school. I haven't seen Ava since we were in high school. I doubt she even remembers me. The commander? Posh, not her. I mean the Sunrider. The newest ship. Oh, uh, well, at least the pilot's got his uh, priorities straight, right? You know, it's all about the ship. Here, let me turn your ship. Let me turn the ship around and give you a view. Shields. Why is his name Shields? Which is, his name isn't actually Shields. Why Shields? What is going on with this? Shields leaned against his window and laid his eyes on the Sunrider. It is a, a it's a ship. It's, just, it's a ship. I, I, I honestly can't see anything very special about it. Colossal in size? Yeah, I can't tell the scale from this but still sleek looking. Shields found, <laughs> Shields. Shields found her to his liking. The behemoth vessel stuck a deadly image. Or stuck? Shouldn't that be struck a deadly image? Wow. Like a poised arrowhead at the ready. Yeah, I've, okay. I know it's beta and all, Come on, aren't you like supposed to write the story and maybe run it through a spell and grammar checker? I know I'm not the best person in grammar and spelling, but when I'm picking shit out that just doesn't seem right, you just gotta think about that. I, there, I, there, have a look at her. Uh, I don't like that sentence. Probably because it's not really, it, 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 he hasn't done anything that makes him sound like a pirate. <laughs> and the eye is just seems wrong. So advanced that the brass needed to train and what? The brass needed to train a new line of offers. Wow. Now that was just me being stupid. I was thinking brass as in like actual brass. Like the counterpart to bronze, you know, the metal. <laughs> So advanced that the brass needed to train a new line of officers to fly her. Really? Really? She looks like a fine vessel. She looks like, um, she looks like a penis. A mechanical fucking penis. Just hang tight, Captain. Won't be long. The shuttle continues its docking approach. Sh shields. Shield sat tight as the shuttle neared the... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I wonder how long it's going to be before we get to, like, a strategy part. After exiting the shuttle, Shields walked through the airlock and entered the Sunrider's hangar. Hey, look, it's Ava. Captain on deck. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm not... Uh, she's got a very masculine voice, just like the rest of them. Like They're all just clones of each other. They just put boobs on some of them. <laughs> they're not even boobs. They're, they're just melons, and they threw her in a, in a skirt and made her grow her hair long. They're all gender neutral, and they all have the same voice because they're all clones. That That's how I'm doing it. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. First Officer Ava Crescentia. Crescent... Crescentia. Okay. Interesting last name. Reporting for duty. Oh, we could be casual or we could be commanderish. We're going to be casual. It's been a while, Ava. Same to you, uh, Captain. <laughs> last time we saw each other was our graduation in high school. I did never dream that I'd ever become your commanding officer. You can... No, I'm not going to go there. Neither did I. It'll be just like old times, yes. Just like old times when I ordered you around. <laughs> Anyways, don't be too awkward around me, alright? I'll be counting on you from now on. Understood, Capitan. I'm not sure you understand. Understand what? The whole captain thing. 
it's just bizarre hearing you call me that. <laughs> I do believe that is the correct protocol for a first officer, is it not? Uh, never mind. Give me a report of Sunrider's status. We've been working for the past two weeks testing her systems. She's prepped to go on your word, sir. <laughs> Don't know why I emphasized the sir. Good, it sounds like High Command wants us out of here ASAP. Yeah, because they want to build another fucking ship. Uh, did they mention Orange Alert? Like, did, did anyone say anything about Orange Alert? I don't remember anything about Orange Alert. I don't know. Maybe I skipped it? Who knows? Let's move on. What's next on our agenda? Because I don't actually care. First, a tour of the ship. Oh, good. That's what I would say. Oh, good. As you've noticed, this is the Sunrider's Hangar. Thanks, Ava. You are a delight and a well of information. We can store up to 12 riders in here. That's semi-useful. I don't see any riders here. Yeah. We won't be receiving them until Wednesday. So how the fuck are we supposed to leave if we don't have the, the ship's, you know, complement of uh, riders, whatever the fuck a rider is? Once they're here, though, you'll be able to access them and order equipment changes. Yay. This is an interactive map. Okay. We're going to head up to the bridge. All right. Deck one, just above the hangar. But do you not think that the hangar would be, like, at the bottom of the ship? Well, maybe in the middle. Still, on a ship that's supposed to be huge, it's a little weird to have the hangar just below. Although, I guess she didn't say it was just one deck above. It was just on deck one. All right. Try using the map to navigate there. Make sure you click on the deck one tab first. Okay, so here's the hang, yeah, yeah. We've got deck zero, deck one, and deck two. Okay. Right. Ooh, I can go to engineering. I'll go to engineering. I can't go to engineering. Oh, why is she angry? This, this little, or I guess it's not necessarily angry, but annoyed? Look, I'm your captain. You do not get annoyed with me. I will do what I want. Do what you wish because a pirate is free. This is the Sunrider's main bridge. This is where you'll be commanding the ship. No shit. This, that's a pretty fancy star map in the middle. Uh, I don't see a star map. All I see is a table with some rings. No stars. Not fancy. You can use that star map to plot our course and to warp to other systems. I'll also usually be here if you need me. All right. Well, clearly you're not there now. You've apparently just wandered off on your own without telling me anything. Uh, honestly, I'm going to have her court-martialed. This is engineering got that from the big engineering sign out front. Thanks, though. The ship's main reactor is located here. Again, I could have probably guessed that. We can also use the lab to research and construct new equipment. That, I would have expected to be in a different area. Maybe in the research area, but, you know, whatever. Unfortunately, the lab hasn't opened yet. Of course. Uh, new ship launches are like EA game launches. You've got the game, you just can't do anything with it because it's not done yet. That's also going to be available on Wednesday. Why didn't why am I here? Why am I not here on Wednesday? <laughs> For fuck's sakes. Now what? She really needs to tell me where she's fucking off to. God, she is horrible. This is the ship's mess hall. Got it. You can come down here to eat and relax. Could have guessed that, too. <laughs> uh, so useless. And again, she just fucks off. Why, why is she in my room? Bitch, why are you in my room? These are your personal quarters. Thank you, Ava. Where's your cloning vat? 
Looks like I've moved up in life. Wow, it's almost like a loft in Sarah City. Yeah. Please don't mess up your room too much, Cap. Why are you scold- This is my room. I will mess it up if I want to. Nobody, but nobody, tells a captain what to do except for an admiral or... I can't remember who else. But there's only a few, and you are not one of them. I think. Did, did we ever learn her rank? I don't know if they mentioned her rank. She's clearly my subordinate. I'm her commander. I've already got some ideas how to redecorate it. Ah! Oh, damn. You can come here to access your personal logs and other material. Furthermore, if a member of the crew needs your help, they'll be waiting outside of your door. Oh, good. So they're not going to be like you and just kind of hanging out in my... I, I, I kind of want to call it living room, but... I don't think it really counts because it's a quarters. This is a huge quarters, too. Like two floors. This seems ridiculously large for, you know, a captain's quarter. Like, you know, that's a king size bed. I would not want to have my bed by this window. Honestly, anybody who got the schematics for this ship and knew about that. Now, this is, of course, assuming... Well, no, it is. It's right at the front of the ship. Those aren't actual panels, more than likely. Like, they're not... They're not display panels showing a screen of outside. They're actual windows. I would not want that. That would not be cool. Because all they need to know is where the captain is. <laughs> and the schematics for the ship. And boom! Captain dead! You can use your map to walk around the ship. You're encouraged to interact with your crewmates. I think they could drop the mates because it's my crew. They're not my crewmates. You have crewmates. I have a crew because you are my crew, not mates. Anyway, a happy ship makes for a strong ship. Yeah, yeah, I, I will agree with that. That is that is correct. And that concludes our tour. And that concludes our tour, lady and gentlemen. Like I said, I'll be on the bridge most of the time, so you can come to me if you need me. <laughs> What's next? What will they think of next? I'm afraid we'll have to cut the formalities short, Captain. Like I said, Command wants us out of dry dock as soon as possible. I only have half a ship. <laughs> we are scheduled for our first live engine test. I guess an engine test is fine. We'll be sailing port short. We'll be sailing port? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Nautical terms. They, they kind of lose me in there. I was thinking, like, port starboard, but they're talking sailing out of port. Which is the dry dock, which is, of course, in space. I don't know why you would continue calling it a dry dock. <laughs> The ships don't go in water, so there's no wet. <laughs> anyway. Oh, make one loop around the moon. Can we make a loop-de-loop? -loop? This little figure eight. Fine with me. Let's return to the bridge and see what the Sunrider's capable of. Uh-huh. All hands, this is your captain speaking. Man your stations. Activate the main reactor and light the engines. Momentarily, we'll begin a live test of our engines by sailing port and making one round to the moon. Alright. We are to enter Orange Alert as soon as we clear port. Raise shields and scan for any possible hostiles. I would hope that you would have long range sensors that can detect shit that's around the fucking moon. If you don't, you have serious problems, and that's something that, you know, the, that that would be planetary defenses. They, they should be able to, you know, tell that shit. I know this is just a test, but keep your guard up. I want everyone to be on their feet and toes that, that be on their feet. Of course they're going to be on their feet. <laughs> I want them on their toes. <laughs> In case we run into any problems. 
Main reactor is coming awake. Awake? Dude, there's their reactors in the futures have sleep mode? Oh, when you turn the reactors on, do they go boo? Or even better, they go Sega. Hi. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Power is increasing. Wake our lady up, Ava. We're getting out of here. I, sir. Helmsman, light the engines. I'm the captain. Shouldn't I be the one saying these things? Engineering reports the reactor is working within parameters. I want it working above parameters. Whatever. I'd make a horrible fucking captain. Power is increasing to the engines. Blast off in three, two. And we just exploded and Ava's dead. Look, she was fucking vaporized. The hell was that? Oh, no, she she came back. She's fine. New clone. They just, they insta-clone? Yeah, that's all it is. Checking status. She's now a computer. Engineering reports the reactor core is still stable. No explosions reported in either deck zero or two. I would think that they would start decks with like deck one, two, three. Like they wouldn't start with zero. I'm just, I'm thinking deck zero would technically be outside. You know, that, that, that's how I would do it anyway. I, I However they choose to name it is up to that man. Captain, the only place that blast could have come from is outside. Do you not have sensors? <laughs> Contact pack, pack warp signatures detected. Get sensors around shit. God, you were building this huge ship and you don't have sensors anywhere that are trying to look for hostiles. You're in a war situation. This should have been reported to you hours ago. Uh, missile boats. They jumped in right under our noses. Red alert. Cancel engine test. Oh, good. Annoying red alert alarm. Hi, Captain. All hands, battle stations. This is not a drill. No, this is a drill. This is turning out to be one hell of a maiden flight. Ava, what's our weapon status? We don't get them until Wednesday. <laughs> Limited. The Vanguard cannon is still offline. Wednesday. We have flak, tur flak turrets. Saviors? What the hell would a savior be? All right. And a few shots of hell darts. Okay, those sound kind of cool. They they sound badass and wimpy at the same time. You got the hell and then dark. I, honestly, I I think of this, you know, like a like a dartboard dart that's wreathed in flame and like melts anything it impacts with. That may seem really silly. <laughs> And apparently, Kato doesn't know anything about any of that. He's a great captain. You're not seriously thinking of taking on Sunrider, taking Sunrider into battle, are you? We haven't even completed any engine tests, much less munitions checks. Huh? No time like the present. Oh God, we're. It's Kirk. It's Kirk. Except Kirk, at least. Like, like, Starfleet at least has, you know, sensors around. Kirk actually, you know, took this ship and fucked off with it into a war zone. So, this, this is... Starfleet is way better than these guys. From the sound of things, I don't think Pact is going to wait for us to finish our tasks. Get this ship operational. Double time. Quad time. Hex time. Octal time. That's all I got. I, sir. Helmsman, all powered engines. Can we already try this? Warning, we have inbound one enemy. Wouldn't that be one enemy inbound? <laughs> An enemy missile frigate. An enemy missile frigate. This is going to be tough. Took aim at the Sunrider. Captain Shields. <laughs> Why Shields? 
Oh, gritted his teeth as the Sunrider's engines sparked back to life, painfully slowly. It's firing on us! And this is where Cosmos comes in and it's like, shield, Hilbert effect. <laughs> oh shit. Simultaneously, as the frigate launched a swarm of missiles at the Sunrider, her engines roared to life, lurching the ship forward. It's too fucking late. It broke dick. The missile stuck the... struck. Struck. Not stuck. The missile struck the dry dock support exactly as the Sunrider flew out of the resulting fireball behind her. The dry dock collapsed in a chaos of steel and fire. So what we're saying is a spectacular exit worthy of Star Trek, of Captain James Tiberius Cock. Captain Shields, Sh Captain Sh fucking hell. Captain Shields breathed a sigh of relief while Ava looked utterly unaffected by the barrel. Why is she not captain? Honestly, she knows the ship. She knows the weapons. She knows how to command. I'm just this whiny-ass little turd that's named Shields. <laughs> okay, oh. Just tape this guy to the hall and hope that he's good at his namesake. We're in the clear. Sunrider is joining the fight. Fire weapons. Take these bastards out. Ooh, battle stations. All right, so I guess this is the turn-based stuff. So it's not that we were joining the fight. It's that we are the only ones in the fight. Welcome to the tactical screen, Captain. From here, you can issue command orders to the crew coming. Learn to read, Mark. Welcome to the tactical screen, Captain. From here, you can issue t orders to the crew during battle. In front, you see the battle grid. This grid shows where friendlies and enemies are positioned on the battlefield. You may click and drag the left mouse button. Move the camera around, except I can't do it now. God damn it. <laughs> Don't click until you're done reading, dumbass. To issue an order to a unit, simply select an, select an unit, select a unit under your command, indicated by the blue ring, okay, which is the only ship I have. Then you may either order the unit to move to another grid or use an attack. I would like to blow these guys up, thanks. Moving and attacking expends energy. No shit. Each unit has a finite number of energy points, except my ship should be infinite. Let's let's be honest. It has a main reactor. Once all of the units under your command no longer have enough energy to act, you must end your turn. Oh, so energy is something that's built up over time, I guess? Packed units are... Indicated by the red ring, your current objective is to eliminate all... Yeah, got it. Sunrider is armed with comprehensive suite of weapons. Didn't sound too comprehensive when you were talking about it. Laser-based weapons have the longest range, but deal little damage. Kinetic-based weapons have a short range, but pack a punch. Missile-based weapons have both long range and firepower, but are limited in supply. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, use Sunrise weapons to eliminate the packed missile frigates. Good luck, Captain. We're all counting on you. Okay, so we click all on you. All systems are green. Whoa, hello, voice. So, okay, so we've got a 90% chance. But we have a 0% chance. 50. 0. So how many... Oh, I only have one missile. Okay. Well, let's try a missile. Firing hell dart missile sir. That's kind of cool. I'll give it that. On target. <laughs> She's like, yeah! 
Armored or gated 80 damage, huh? It's a little weird that I have to click. It's very strange. But I guess we're done with that. Issue your command. Alright, let's All head full. there. And I think we're done. Oh, packed phase. Shield. Ooh, 49. Holding. 49 whole damage, and we negated 30. They're not particularly tough, are they? The Sunrider is at your disposal, Captain. Uh, how much energy do I have? I've. Okay, is that number my energy, or is that my health? What do we got here? Okay, we have 100 energy. So I want to use a kinetic. What's my kinetic? Not enough. Oh. The Sunrider awaits orders. Uh, if I do. Ooh, what's assault? All right. Actually, let's try the lasers. Commencing fire. Solid, Captain. Not bad, actually. It only did half the missile damage, so... You know, just for the fun of it, let's try this. That was kind of pathetic, actually. <laughs> but more than likely because I'm so far away. Alright. Let's get the pact going. You do your 40 damage. My interceptors are 88% of... Oh! 137! That was... Pretty hefty. The Sun Rider awaits orders. We're gonna laser their asses. Commencing fire! The attack is successful! <laughs> she gets so excited! Victory! Ooh, I got 200 bucks. Oh, I got 182 bucks. That's pretty cheap, actually. I don't know how I got money. Oh, I guess scrap? I don't know. Command points. I got three whole command point. Or, no, number of turns. Command points, I got 455. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Our forces are pushing the remaining packed units back. The packed frigates are no longer a threat. Well, of course, they sent frigates. Fucking cargo ships. Join the rest of our fleet. No, I don't want to. I guess since that's technically me saying it, but I don't want to. Let's pitch in with the mop up operation. Got a mop? Space mob. Oh. Vessel spaceship cleanup. Ha! Ah. Two missile frigates down with hardly a scratch. Not bad for my first command, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's not like, you know, you didn't, you know, you had absolutely no help from Ava. Ava, Ava did nothing. You know, she was just crying in the corner while all this shit was going down. It's not like, you know, she didn't even flinch when the ship was attacked, told you what you had to do, did everything for you, all you had to do is point. Eh. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be very harsh with this captain, because he's kind of an idiot. Oh, <laughs> uh, alright. I, I, I think I'm going to be done with this for now. It's definitely interesting. I do think they need to go and change some of the uh, text a bit. And maybe make the, the the captain actually seem slightly less useless. Because, let's be honest, he's kind of a twit. Like, she is the captain, as far as I'm concerned. Ava actually knows what the fuck is going on. This guy? This Kato guy? And get rid of the shield. His, like, is he shield Kato or Kato shield? I don't really know how they're doing it. But that's stupid. <laughs> I just that's stupid. 
Shield. Shield, put the shields up. What? <laughs> all right. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, or add me to your Google Plus circles. I also have a Patreon campaign going on. Feel free to support me on there if you so desire. And if you want to see more, click that subscribe button.